Hey YouTube, it's Brian from Custom Fast RC. Uh, bringing you another video tonight on uh, another slash that I just finished. Um, slashes by far are my most favorite RC out today. Uh, very versatile, very tough RC. There's many, many things you could do to them. They come in a variety of different shapes and styles. Uh, LCG chassis, both four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive, uh, your standard chassis that first came out. Um, yeah, just uh, very tough. I've seen people pound on slashes and uh, they just keep on going and going. You may bend a pin here and there, possibly crack a shock tower, but all in all, uh, probably one of your toughest RCs out there. Um, I built this RC because I wanted something that I could uh, play with just about any time. Street, dirt, mud, anything you could think of. Um, you're not too limited when it comes to a basher type RC. So yeah, that was the idea behind this build here. Um, probably been putting parts together for this thing for the past six months finally got everything and a week ago started to build it painted the body uh, speaking of paint I think I'm just gonna give up on spastics altogether um, it is a lacquer based paint so it does dry hard so it is gonna flake on you so if you want to do a body that's just for show go ahead and continue to use it it'll probably be fine for you but uh, after a couple twists and bends and hits, it's all going to fall off. So uh, I'm going to give the uh, Duratrax paint a try. There's a couple different good ones out there. Eventually I'll end up trying them all. So uh, yeah, this is their uh, rendition of a candy blue. It is a transparent, so when you put it down, you can see through. Um, you could pretty much back that with anything you want. Um, to get that metallic look or that candy look I always back it with a silver and then put black over the top of that and uh, I did give it the twist test I did get uh, didn't get any cracks or uh, flaking at all so definitely gonna stick with the Dura tracks for a while uh, the wheels you see on this vehicle are the uh, split six from Proline and the uh, tires are the gladiators they are a track tire um, have not tried them yet uh, watched a lot of reviews a lot of people on YouTube that have used the gladiator and they uh, they're very pleased with them they offer a ton of traction on dirt hard pack surfaces pretty much anything um, got the good old Traxxas X01 rear wing uh, tail fin on there um, I've seen this tail fin on just about every uh, type of RC out there. It's a very versatile, clean tail fin, so I could see why people use it. Um, went with a, a real vinyl type tonneau cover on the back of this RC. Uh, just to add a little bit of something different rather than just paint it is actual vinyl these are all decals I didn't do too much as far as masking and multicolors um, the windshields are decals also usually I'll mask those off and hit them with the with the black paint to give it the tinted look. This time I did go with the decals that came with the body. Uh, this body already came cut so there was no trimming involved. Love the Ford Raptor. Always have ever since they came out in real life. Seen them on the road. I am a Dodge guy but the Ford Raptor has always been a favorite of mine. This Ford Raptor body is a little bit different than the Proline Ford Raptor body. But uh, 
both of them are are pretty awesome. I like both of them a lot. Um, I did get another set of tires, some wheels and tires. So if I ever come across a nice sand pit, I could put these on there, and the RC will definitely handle a lot better on the sand with the paddles. And this is a tire for the front, specially designed for the sand. It'll actually, that center fin or wedge or what have you, will help it cut into the sand a little bit better for steering. These are Proline F11 wheels. Uh, these tires are called Mohawks from Proline. And if I didn't say it earlier, these are uh, slingshots. Proline does make another type of set, uh, sand paddler, but it's uh, for the other style of rims out there. These are the 2.2, 3.0 rims. Okay, what else we got here? Let's pull off the cover. Uh, when I originally started this build, I was going to go all RPM. But as I went along, uh, the aluminum monster grabbed me and sucked me in. So I ended up going with almost all aluminum on this build. Something I didn't want to do in the beginning, but I could not help myself. Let's get this camera off the stand here. Anyways, sorry about that. Do a little transition. Uh, these shocks here are aluminum. Uh, these are the no name shocks that we've all seen on eBay. Um, I did buy them blue, but it was a real pale blue, looked nasty. It didn't match anything uh, that Intigi or STRC had to offer, so I went ahead and stripped them down and reanodized them. Uh, starting to get a little bit better, more efficient with my anodizing. And I'm uh, pretty happy with the way those came out. Got the Hot Racing uh, Stabilizer Bar on there. This definitely helps out with the handling of the vehicle in tight turns, keeps it flat. Um, I do notice a difference from when I do use a stabilizer bar and when I don't use a stabilizer bar. Uh, there's some of the plastic I did decide to stick with. Those are the RPM front A arms. Uh, STRC rod ends, steering rods, and uh, the other tie rods. Uh, STRC front shock towers. Usually I go with the Intigees. This is the first set of STRC shock towers that I did buy. Intigy body mounts, uh, always a pain. I have not gotten a set of these in that were that everything lined up and worked like it was supposed to. Always had to do some notching or moving stuff around to get them to work right. Don't know why that is, but uh, but anyways, SDRC battery hold down. Uh, with this build, I decided to go with that uh, Sidewinder speed controller that I showed you guys in previous videos with the uh, Castle Creations Cat Pack. Uh, tried something a little bit different this time. Went with some uh, blue wires. You have to use a soldering iron to detach them from the motor and re-solder them back in. Ended up coming out pretty good. Uh, into G rear body mount. Like I said, I had to alter the post some, so I did not get a chance to put those back on. Get the uh, STRC rear shock towers. Those are the rear shocks from the uh, big bores that I was talking about a little bit ago. 
Got the hot racing spur gear with the stock slipper clutches in there. And with the uh, 32 pitch this time instead of the 48 pitch. I went with these uh, Traxxas drive shafts again from the X01. I have not heard of these failing at all from anybody, so I'm going to stick with them for a while. They're a nice, sleek, uh, detailed looking axle. I like the CV boot look to them. It gives a little bit of, of an authentic look of a rear axle. Traxxas uh, bearing carriers. I think that's the only thing Traxxas aluminum that I ended up putting on here. Stuck with the Valenian motor so far for now. Um, they're an awesome motor for what they are. I mean, 3500, it offers a lot of torque. Uh, 3S compatible with a nice mixture of uh, speed and torque. Um, some people have complained about them getting hot, and but I've not run into those problems yet, thank God. I did put a set of Boca ceramic bearings in there. I had them laying around, just happened to have that size, so I put them in there. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing real super special. Just wanted to share it with everybody. Nice basher, something to get out there and just have fun without worrying about smooth roads, what have you. So if you want something that uh, you could take out and just beat the crap out of it and it'll take it, slash two-wheel drive is the way to go. Ended up trying something, well I didn't try it out yet, but I did buy them. These are the Poseidon gears that uh, people have been talking about. Um, they appear and they feel high quality. A little bit on a pricey side, but uh, not too bad. Just check out Byron over at Poseidon. He'll hook you up. But anyways, got your Duratrax paints back there. So... If anybody's got any questions about this build, uh, hit me up. I did decide to get into Dan P's uh, body painting contest. Got a couple different bodies that I'm thinking about putting in. Don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but uh, should definitely be a whole lot of fun. Thanks for putting that together, Dan. Much appreciated. But until next time, you guys have a great night. Talk to you later. Later.